governments who have met staggering developments would have figured out how to properly care for the planetary health. However, in this present time, calamities like pandemics and global warming plague the world and are slowly deteriorating the health of human and the environment. Another planetary health crisis faced by the world is food insecurity. Our team has come up with the food treatment process to tackle the root cause of this problem, food wasting. How does food treatment process work? Firstly, large pieces of debris will be removed through manual work. Workers need to sort, identify, and remove larger pieces of contaminants found on the expired food like leaves, pieces of plastic, and rocks. Magnets will also be used to remove any form of metallic objects that may be present in the food. But why can metallic substances get attracted to magnets? Well, it's because of the motion of electric charges. When exposed to the magnetic field, the atoms of the object begin to align their electrons with the flow of the magnetic field, which makes the object magnetized. This creates an attraction between the two magnetized objects. Then, smaller impurities such as dirt, dust, and fur are removed using powdered ferric sulfate, a flocculant used in the cleaning agent PNG to clean water so that it's safe to be drunk. The food is immersed in water to allow the impurities to dissolve or suspend into the water. The flocculant is then added to coagulate and sediment the impurities. Subsequently, the water is drained to remove the sediment. The food is then dehydrated to return it to its original state. Flocculon can be used here since it neutralizes negative charges between particles. If two particles have the same charges, they'll repel each other. By removing the negative charges, the particles can stick together and clump, so they seem to the bottom of the continent to be thrown away. Then, the microorganisms or pests that may be inhabiting the food needs to be killed and removed. To do so, we propose the usage of UV sanitization that uses UV rays to kill most living organisms, regardless of the size. This prevents food poisoning or other health problems when the reprocessed food is consumed. UV rays have a certain range of wavelengths that can be used in the UV sanitation process. The UV rays are absorbed by the nucleic acid, which disrupts DNA by causing defects in the nitrogenous base of DNA. Then, UV rays trigger the formation of specific tiny oxytocin dimers in the DNA and uracil dimers in the RNA. As a consequence, this prevents replication or expression of necessary proteins, which leads to the inactivation of DNA and death. The next step in food treatment process is to inject nutrients into the foods. This is done to replenish the nutrients that may be lost throughout the process of food treatment process to ensure that consumers will still be able to receive the necessary nutrients from the food. For example, we inject carbohydrates into bread so that consumers will be able to digest the carbohydrate to generate energy. Lastly, to make the food more appetizing and appealing to consumers, artificial flavoring and colors are added so that the processed food will taste like the actual product. The artificial flavoring is created when flavorists eat real food and sort through different chemicals to figure out which one they will need to recreate a flavor. Artificial colors are obtained through synthetic processes, commonly derived from petroleum and through oil products. They are typically made up of hydrocarbons, nitrogen, and sulfur ions. FTP is a crucial step in creating a sustainable planetary health for the future generations, since it's a greener alternative of solving the problem of food wastage and ensuring the stable supply of food to the growing population.